What is up FIFA commoners, a Real Madrid player who has been on loan with Borussia Dortmund, Girona as well, now gets a winter wildcard and looks absolutely cracked. Let's start this episode. If you're new on this corners, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course do let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, today eSports has gone ahead and released a player that goes by the name of Reina. Reina, his full name is, and I will give you that right now, his full name is Reina Jesus Carvalho. And to complete this card, let's look at really quickly what you will need to do. You will need to win seven matches uh, in a division rival or in, a, uh, in a, what's it called, uh, squad battles semi-pro. You will need to score three goals with forwards using forwards. You will also need to assist five goals with through balls. All of it is very easy. And then finally, you will need to score eight goals using a Brazilian player. So nothing too complicated. Now, looking at the card we have on screen, and before we do that, let's have a quick look at the player himself. He graduated the Youth Academy of Flamenco where really this player has won trophies after trophy with the club before being picked up by Real Madrid. Uh, you know, he's one of the um, one of the few talents Real Madrid has spent about $132 million for, and he is still a player for Real Madrid, but has been sent on loan to Borussia Dortmund in um, 2020. Did two seasons with them, 2020 to 2022, 27 appearances, only scoring one goal before being sent to Girona, where you can see on the screen has been he has been elected the youngest player uh, to score in La Liga game for Girona FC, doing bits for them, seven appearances and already five goals. So he's really trying to show his worth and hopefully Real Madrid is able to uh, get him back and uh, not sell him afterwards. Jumping into the card itself, the card is looking crazy. Of course, uh, Reiner gets a card every single year. This card is looking fantastic. He's six foot one, medium, medium, right footed, four star scale, four star weak foot. That is very good for a striker. The four star scale, four star weak foot is very, very helpful. Moving on to the alternative position, he only plays as a cam. There's no other alternative positions, and that's okay. He's a uh, he's ultimately a Brazilian player uh, playing for La Liga, so there's a lot of links, and that's okay. Moving on to the player attributes. Absolutely cracked. 86 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. That, my friends, is looking fantastic. The pace is good. The split is good. The shooting on this card is also really good. 84 attack positioning, 85 finishing, 88 shot power. That is good. I know that it's not the craziest. It doesn't reach the 90s or anything like that, but still, it is very good for a card at this stage of the game. The passing is also excellent for what he offers, right? He's a cam. He could also play as a striker. I know it's medium, medium, but if you play stay forward, get in behind, he can definitely play as a striker in my opinion 81 vision combined with 89 short pass and 80 long pass that's fantastic he can also play on the wings you know he has that 77 crossing and that 90 curve and that is fantastic now moving on to our favorite website in the world of course let's have a quick look at his body type before we do that he is high an average plus body type and you can see that right there that my friends could be considered a bit of an issue but it is not and the reason why it is not is because he has sensational dribbling stats and you can see the dribbling stats right here 88 agility 85 balance 80 reaction 85 88 dribbling and 84 composure that's fantastic now looking at the chem styles you can put on him you could go with the hunter Realistically, because the dribbling is good enough. Listen, if your servers are in the drain, if you don't have good connection, you could have Neymar and he won't feel great. And, you know, truly eSports is to blame for that. But looking at this, you boost the pace, you boost the shooting, and the card looks very much cracked. The pass is decent enough the way it is. The dribbling is decent enough as well. Now, if you wanted to leave the pace like it is and really increase his dribbling and his shooting, because he's a cam, right? If you want to play him as a cam, you really want a cam that can dribble very well and because he's high in average body type if you're going to play him as a cam i would definitely suggest going with the finisher now if you want to play him as your more forward oriented cd uh, cm you could go with the hunter boost the pace boost the passing and boost the defending not the defending but the dribbling itself coming back over here the defending there's nothing to mention there the physicality is pretty good at 80 stamina 75 strength and that is okay flair technical dribbler boys this guy is very interesting he's very interesting again i was speaking to you guys about the links and i can show you that very quickly there's a lot of players you can you can put around him right um because of course he is still a real madrid player he's just on loan to girona you could surround you could surround him with real madrid players like vinicius like rodrigo like like uh, Casemiro, who just got a card. Uh, actually, Casemiro is now for uh, playing for uh, Manchester United. But still, this, the, the things you could do with a card like this, 
are absolutely unlimited. Boys, this was your FIFA commenter. Let me know in the comment section below if this card is interesting to you. He's a free card, ultimately. Let me know if you will be completing this card, and I will catch you very soon for another review on the channel. Peace out!